Hi everybody, you should be into like week one jitters a little bit. You should have your board and you should be making phone calls. Did I just say should? Well, okay, you're probably making phone calls. And I wanna to talk to you about a phone call I got this morning from somebody um, regarding one of the team members and she was really impressed on a lot of levels. And so I wanna share with you um, how he approached his phone call and an idea that may work for you. Apparently one of our team members called our agent, Suzanne, and said, um, hey, by the way, you know, um, my assignment is to tell you some of the things that I'm up to, but I've got a couple leads for you, people that may hire voiceover talent. And she was immediately, she's, when she called me, she said, I was immediately alert. You know, she said, I'm paying attention to him. And she's, she's getting the leads from him and she's thinking, wow, that's pretty impressive, you know. And then he said, and by the way, part of my assignment is to tell you what my goal is, may I? And she said, yes, of course. And he told her his goal. And she said to me, you know, it was very lofty. She said, and it was a big goal, but you know what? I believe he can do it. And I thought that was really powerful, especially coming from an agent. And she said, I believe he can do it. And I'm going to make sure I do everything in my power to help him get there. Because you know what? He's shown that he's a team player and he's on my team. And that means I want to help this guy. And by the way, she said, he turned in a kick booty audition and I put him at the top of my list. And I thought that was really interesting because one of the things we forget is that we're looking at it like, how am I going to be perceived or how can they help me? But if we go at this as, well, gee, you know, how can I help you? Like, I want to know, I want to come to the table with something. And I, one of the things that I want to share with you is when I was little, my mother used to always say, never go anywhere empty handed. So whenever we went to somebody's house for dinner or what have you, my mother, even if she took something, she went, let me wrap this, you know, or whatever it was, she was always giving a gift to the person who invited us. So. Think of it like that. Think of what gift can I give to this person for their time, for, you know, that's why that personal connection makes such a difference. That never would have been achieved on an email. You know, coming to that table with something makes a big difference. That's why thank you notes matter so much. That's why following up a gig, next gig you have, or the last gig, write a thank you note. Just pull out that, that card and just say, I just want to say thank you. And you know, it was really nice to work with you. These are little things that go a long way. And one story that I'm reminded of is this um, of Buddha. And this young man knows everything about Buddha, and he's so honored because Buddha says, yes, I will meet with you. And so he goes to Buddha's for tea. He's been invited. And Buddha says, you know, the young man starts talking everything about Buddha, everything he knows about Buddha. And, and Buddha says, would you like some tea? Oh, yes. And Buddha starts pouring his tea and says, tell me when. And, and he starts to pour the tea, and, and the young man says, okay. And Buddha just keeps pouring because the young man just keeps going on about Buddha. And finally, the young man says, stop, stop. And Buddha puts down the tea and it has spilled all over. And Buddha says, you are like this tea. You are so full of what you know. There's no room for anything else in the cup. So my message to you today is empty the cup. Go at this with a fresh perspective. Try not to put anything into it. Just see how you can be of service to the person you're calling. And some of you have already talked to your coach this week, and I will see all of you on Monday night, hopefully with some good stories. See you soon.